Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to start some seeds, and um, these are our spring seeds, our coal crops that we're going to start, and I thought I'd bring you out to the greenhouse. Um, this is the first time I've been able to use the greenhouse. I'm really, really excited, but i got to tell you, it's 120 degrees in here, and it really is hot, so um, yeah, I'm just going to come in here and start some seeds, and I thought I would bring you in, and, and I'm going to show you how I start my seeds. And I've done this before in the past. I am, I, some I'm successful with and some I'm not. And this is not a how-to video. And that sun is so bright. Um, because I don't believe that there is a right and a wrong way to gardening or seed starting. I think that, you know, just having a good time is what makes gardening fun. And, you know, if you enjoy it, and, you know, you may look at something that I do here today and be like, you know what, I tried that, that did not work for me, and I totally get it. And you may look at something that I do and be like, well, you know what, I think I'm going to try that, and it may or may not work. I think that trying things and starting seeds and trying new things in the garden, that's, that's, the, that's the fun of it. It's not about, you know, the success that you have. If you don't succeed this year, there's always next year to do it again. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bring the camera down a little lower and I'm not going to, I'm just going to show you what I'm doing to start my seeds and, um, yeah, that's it. So here we go. So I don't use any special kind of trays. I get these, they come in like a pack, um, you can Walmart dollar general, $5 for the whole thing. I don't go crazy on what kind of soil I use. Um, as long as it's an organic soil. That's fine with me. Um, I don't make my soil wet before I put it in my pots. I fill my pots about halfway full of soil and put my seeds in them. One little piece of advice I will give you, I make these little labels. I buy um, at Walmart, it's a just, you know, the generic $4 blind that you pull up and down. We use that to keep, um, just to label everything. We just cut the strips. I usually only put one seed per square, sometimes two, like a leek or the onions, I'll put two per square. really excited about this celery. I've never actually even eaten celery, let alone grow it. But it sounds really awesome. Look good anyhow. We do have hot mats underneath of these that we'll use um, just to help keep them a, le a little warmer to germinate. It is 120 in here and gosh dang if it's not hot. I'm not complaining but it's hot. Alright, so then I top them off with a little more soil. Just make sure they're nice and full.
There is never any escaping those geese. And baby Jupiter, he's outside today. He's up in the pasture area by, we have a very small area that we pasture just for little orphans. And he's up there enjoying this gorgeous weather. personally and I do this with my wheatgrass and all of my uh, microgreens as well my bottom tray I don't top water after the initial start so my bottom tray I put some stones in it and I fill it with water in on top of it. And then I make sure that everything is good and wet. So that the seeds can get a lot of moisture for germinating. And then I cover. And that's about it. Um, these are all of our coal crops that will start here uh, probably sometime in the middle of March. I'll transplant them once they get their true leaves and then we'll go from there. But we do have the heat pad underneath. We have the bottom tray down here that we keep stones in for bottom wa watering. I don't like the top water once I get them initially started. Then um, once they actually have germinated and they've sprouted, I'll bring a fan in to blow across them just to keep them aerated. But we will continually over um, bottom water, keep the bottom water filled, and that's it. So we'll see you in a couple weeks what they look like.